Hello guys, it's Ahmed Hofi here, and uh, today I'm releasing the new version of Easy Card Drive Tool. And uh, I should say that the now now the plugin is called Easy Card Rig. So uh, this version has lots of new improvements, and I've actually also removed some of the features that were in the older version. So the uh, Car Rig non dynamic were uh, removed, and as well as the smoke feature. And uh, I hope that these features will be added in the next version. Anyway, um, uh, let's get in. So uh, before even getting into the options of Easy Car Rig version two, you need to add a car. So let's merge a car model. So I will get in this model. It's a model of a Lamborghini. Anyway, uh, as you can see, the uh, car rig gives an arrow to the direction. So the car is actually inverted. So we need to rotate it into the negative direction or 180 degrees. Then we will begin in the adjusting process. So I will just add a display here to change the shading mode of this to uh, let's say hidden lines lines so we can see the actual rig so uh, on the easy car drive or uh, easy car drive tool uh, version 2 or easy car rig we have uh, some uh, options a lot of options actually so firstly you have the adjusting mode and this way you can actually adjust the rig so the front wheel position you can you you keep actually adjusting these uh, values until you make it uh, perfectly aligned with your car so we know that the wheel is here so we keep adjust we keep adjusting these values until we uh, uh, get the uh, car or the rig uh, fully adjusted so we have changed we have finished the uh, back wheel position or the front wheel position so let's get into the back wheel and here is our back wheel now we can go to the top view and adjust our car width it's nearly perfect we just need to raise it a bit as well as raising the tire radius so uh, this setting will uh, 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 will depend or will make your calculations faster and better so uh, we are nearly came here we are nearly done with adjusting uh, perfect now we actually need to uh, parent our car to the rig so before parenting you need to optimize this car a bit as you can see we have lots and lots of um, lots and lots of objects so uh, we need to uh, separate this car into uh, five or six main nulls we have the body and the body should contain also the interior we have the four tires the steering wheel and a body dummy object and actually the body dummy object is just a copy of the main uh, um, the main shape of the car so just to get the uh, dynamic uh, collisions working perfect so I will stop the video organize this model and come back again so I'm back again and I finished adjusting the uh, core model as you can see I have here a body dummy object is actually a um, connected objects of the main body shape as well as the whole body with all of its detail and the interior and uh, the, f the wheels and be sure that the wheels are uh, their axis is perfectly aligned in the center so to get uh, a good rotation you need to be sure that the axis is centered in all of the uh, four tires also the steering wheel and you should be sure as well that your axis is perfectly aligned so now we have finished 
uh, actually uh, adjusting and modifying our car now we can pay attention to actually parenting this to the rig so uh, for the main all of the body drop it under the body dummy object and drop this body dummy object under the easy car rig null after this add a, a rigid body tag to the body dummy object then parent the tires to the to the right one okay so we have finished adding Zeus now we can make the rig not available not visible and actually making the uh, objects of the car itself visible also do this in your body dummy object now we can see the rig and if you clicked play strange things should happen that's because we have not actually uh, linked our uh, body dummy object to the plugin so you need to go to the editing mode there should be here a uh, a link uh, a place where you can add an object which is called the body object just drop this dummy object here and now the car should work perfect but this steering wheel is not uh, moving so to get it work uh, first just uh, there, there should be here a cube called the steering wheel object just place it where the, uh, the, the the main steering wheel of your car is and drop the uh, and actually rotate it to be aligned with the steering wheel then just drop this the main object of the steering wheel or the the, ob the model of the steering wheel underneath it and um just again reposition everything scale down now cool just drop this underneath it and drop this under the body dummy object so uh, actually the parenting could seem a bit hard but when you you when you used when you are used to it it will be very easy now everything should be working to also make sure just focus on this place and now everything's working uh, so uh, you have also other options in the editing mode for adjusting the wheels the floor you can use this default floor or use your own floor also adding more suspension car type you can use only rear or front motors or four wheel motors uh, and the engine power so let's go and have let's go to the uh, funny part and in the driving mode so in the driving mode you have uh, everything you need to control the uh, car so uh, there uh, in this version you have two types of control the default control which is actually was added to the older version which was used in the older version as well as some steering wheel options so let's just add a camera under here here and parent it to the car so it moves with it let's get it now as you can see the steering wheel is working perfect I've actually uh, added, I think, I have added the um, steering wheel to the body dummy object. Let's just make sure that everything's working. I have here another copy that is not moving. So it should be in any place.
this is the moving one so we have two copies of the steering wheel I'm not sure which one has the problem anyway for the sake of the tutorial we will leave it but as you can see the steering wheel is moving perfectly with our steering settings anyway so let's get back to frame zero drop everything back to default and let's see what is new with the control type you have here something that's called visual controls and visual control is an awesome way of actually uh, animating the car so as soon as you get uh, this enabled a new object should appear at the top uh, at the, the bottom of the null which is called visual control offset and underneath it this, there's a polygon object called visual control so the visual control object uh, offset is used to actually uh, position the visual control where you want while the visual control bulging here is used to animate the car so as you can see it's really awesome and you have you can actually um, uh, add this underneath the body so it moves with it and you still can animate it so you have also some options to customize this visual control so uh, you can adjust the rotating mood so uh, you can set the uh, position X to rotate the car or the rotation or the rotation B as you can see from here also you can uh, range map or map the uh, position of the visual control so it says here 800 centimeter in position Y will set the speed as 500 so when you are on 100 Y now speed is 500 also when you are in 10 cent in each 10 centimeter in position X will set rotation as one degree so when you move this one for example 50 centimeter it will move your car in a 50 degree but how can you benefit from from this there's actually a tool in cinema 4d which is called uh, cappuccino and it's used to capture real time um, uh, real time moving of an object so you can start real time go to the move tool and start animating and each frame will have a key as you can see here and this gives really realistic animations so that's it So this is AZ Car Rig version 2. I hope you guys found this useful and see you soon.